Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. We are on another episode of The Sopranos. This is season two, episode one. We started a new season. The last episode, the season finale, uh, was kind of insane. The last episode picked up with the aftermath of Tony's almost getting murdered by some hitmen who were hired by his uncle. The FBI actually took him in and showed them a recording, or let him hear a recording of a conversation between Junior and Tony's mother. So Tony heard the actual proof of Junior and his mother talking about, you know, killing him. He was not okay with that. First off, you know, he kind of already figured that Junior was the one who did it, but this kind of confirmed it. So he wanted to take out some of Junior's men. There was also the fact that his mother was the one to kind of pull the strings. He actually had a therapy session where um, Dr. Melfi was trying to tell him like, you know, your mother, because <laughs> his mother had like an episode of like really bad dementia. And the his therapist was like, ain't that suspicious? Ain't that a little questionable? So she actually suggested that his mother had borderline personality disorder. Is that what it is? BPD. He was not happy with that information. So he really lashed out and he actually got very physical with her. I highly doubt he's ever going to see her again <laughs> because of that tape. He ended up finding out that that's, it's actually true. His mother did try to have him killed. During that time, the FBI decided to finally crack down and they did their, um, the indictments. They finally arrested some people and one of those people happened to be Junior. Because of that, the mother ended up having a stroke because of the news, which was really bad. So he was actually, it was really funny. I know I shouldn't be laughing at this, but he was on his way to go kill her. <laughs> like he literally grabbed a pillow and everything was gonna smother her. But then the nurse was like, she had a stroke and he was like, Yes. Oh, and another, I completely forgot about this. His mother, even in the process, tried to get one of his good friends, Artie, to come and kill him by telling him that um, Tony burnt down his restaurant, which is true. That was just another part of like his mother's manipulation tactics and wanting to kill her son that bad. I don't, uh, I, I'm telling you, Tony's mother. I don't know how he ever dealt with that. Right now, towards the end of the episode, he's living like his best life. He has his family. Um, he doesn't have to deal with Uncle Junior anymore, trying to kill him or put hits out on him. He doesn't have to deal with his damn mother anymore because she suffered a stroke. I mean, right now he's, he's just no problems in the world, except maybe his mental health. I don't know how that's going right now. He seems, he seems to be okay, but you know, never sure. I'm very excited to get to the next episode and see what problems Tony's gonna have. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. This one is called, A Guy Walks Into a Psychiatrist's Office. Mm. So we might be getting some Dr. Melfi this episode. Um, okay, listen test. up. This is the NASD Series 7 Stockbroker's Exam. Stockbroker's we'll Exam? Test your basic Multisanti. Christopher. Here. Oh, okay, that's definitely not Christopher. So he's having somebody else take his exam. <gasps> Taking down Junior. Street boss. I love how he gets a street, the street boss title. Oh wow, she's doing it through a hotel. Oh. <laughs> Whoops, made eye contact. Oh, okay, there's a car right there. That's really weird. Well, he's getting out. Who is it? <laughs> Tony! Oh, okay. It's, oh. it's him! Gave him a good scare. Come into the house. I got your word. If I walk in there, I'm walking back out. <laughs> I don't see you. What do you think? I'm stupid? I don't know it. When every fucking one of my friends turns their hearts to stone against me, fuck! Oh, yeah. Hey, there was a fucking rat. Yeah, but it wasn't you. We know. We so know now. Me? Has every right to be mad because I would be pissed too if I was a loyal friend and then everybody else starts like getting suspicious of you. I'd be scared and pissed. Because when you <laughs> and Silvio and Paulie and all you pricks, weakness can spread as fucking treason. You know what? Fuck you. I don't want to hear about your hey. fucking back anymore. Hey, it's got a point though. What, what did they do with your mental illness? They weren't very kind or loving about that either. So my doctor, he prescribes this clinic for me in Puerto Rico. I didn't exactly object, Tony. Give him the fucking vibes around here. Yeah. Go ahead. You can't send one feeler to me. I'm gonna trust you, Paulie. Take the word of a degenerate cop over me. Tony, who are you talking to down there? My good friend. I gotta start earning again. I gotta get my action back. Oh, mm. just like that. Please? 
Come here, you fat fuck. <laughs> so mean. Oh, I'm gonna hug it out. <laughs> hey, hey. Back, hey. He did miss shot. you. If that makes you feel any better, PC. Hey. Yeah, you wanna pat this down too? Oh, he was patting him down. Come on. <laughs> there we go, an actual hug. Who stepped up to run his group? Who do you think? It's Pitch Boy, Philly Parisi. Oh, oh really? Yeah. And when Junior come after him, Tony went to the home, tried to suffocate his own mother. <laughs> How'd they find out about the suffocation? Suffocation? How'd they find out about that? He was seeing a psychiatrist. Oh, Only that got out. Oh, no. That there is go, so kid. messed up there that they're go. talking about. <laughs> Wait, what? Is he. Okay, the son is like. Is he working for Tony then? It's done. Yeah, I was gonna say it must be <gasps> on Tony's request. Room 45. Yes? It's all over. It's safe to go home now. How did you get this phone number? Oh, Where are you calling little... me from? Are you watching me? <laughs> that is a little scary. So he took care of like the last guy who was spreading that rumor, I guess. I gotta take a meeting down to Manta Lope. Keep things in control. Word up, lady chief. Okay, so he's running like a company stock company or whatever. We've got hundreds of mutual funds. Oh, you didn't just do that. Petitions robust and their technology is two years behind. Your stock's a dog. <gasps> Oh my god, you have a person who is actually trying to do good work and you're beating him up. Hey, stop that! Hey, I'm still the manager here. This is unacceptable. Where's Maltesanti? I'm gonna make a call. You think I don't know who really runs this operation, huh? Oh my god. Anybody else got a problem with Wobistics? Ooh, no thank you. If I was working there, I'd be like, okay, never mind. I'm gonna be quitting. Your uncle's petitioning to get out of jail on a medical pending trial. Medical pending well, trial? What does that mean? You'll think yeah. You're not gonna believe this. Your what? sister's here. Barbara? No, Janice. Janice. Yeah, was was that the older one? Let me pinch those bulldog cheeks. Come over here. <laughs> <laughs> I've been going a long time. Let me hear it. What? Just when they thought I was out, they pulled me back in. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All right, Kate. Okay. We got a call from Liaco down the brokerage. Fucking Chip and Dale sent one of the brokers. Emergency room. Oh, fuck me. You call him and you tell him I want to see him right away. Uh oh. Get all checked out. Puerto Rico, the clinic, all that shit. All right, so he had him double checked just to make sure, but it all checks out. Okay. I would do the same thing. How was the guest bed? Except I probably wouldn't come back. Great. Ooh, she's not happy with What you. the fuck is that smell? So, how are things really with mom? Oh. Oh. She's dead to me. Yeah. You're the one who stayed, you took the bunk. Barbara and I were never gonna forget that. Well, you forgot it okay for about 20 years. At least Bob pitched in. But Ma can't stay in the hospital forever. Let me tell you something about oh, this. Oh, too bad. <laughs> I got this bullshit. Oh, wow. There was no one fuck whatever the fuck. Yeah, but they also said that the symptoms are the same as a stroke, so the result is the same. She cannot take oh. care of herself. She's on the lamp. Well, who did what to who? It's not my business. All I know is mom is bewildered by all of this. I mentioned you, her eyes fill up with tears. Oh, 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 it's so different for him as opposed to like his sisters because he stayed there and took care of her and actively tried to make her happy. And yet this woman still had the nerve to try to get him killed multiple times. After that, it's no longer his responsibility to take care of her. It's my turn now. Oh good, you can have her. Now oh, she's just a confused, fine old woman. Nah, don't believe it. <laughs> it's really hard to trust Look, her. All I need is a couple of hundred bucks to fix her car so I can get back and forth to the hospital. Well, this is the so, for some reason, I, I, I for some reason I have a feeling she's not gonna use that money to fix a car. I don't know. She just giving me weird vibes. Uh, what, what, what's the matter now? What's the matter? Uh oh. I got a call from my uncle down at the brokerage. Your two friends beat the shit out of a broker. Two others quit. Okay. Oh my god. Yeah. See, no, that's exactly what I said. If I saw that happening, goodbye. I'm not coming back. Then the two fucksticks rip off a Porsche Carrera from our own building. I'll call. So you go down. Oh, and take no. care of it. A sink was left on upstairs. You don't even want to see the toilets. Oh, 
Break a few windows, think they're Johnny Badass or fucking Jackals. Oh, wow. You stop, please. What, now that the dragon lady's gone, they'll Dwayne to set foot in our house? She said some horrible things to them over the years. <laughs> See, nobody likes her. I'm not her. defending her. On the bulletin board, OTC, if we cold call enough senior citizens, pump and dump. I have no clue what is going on right now. Oh, this conversation. You know, this is cold, by the way. Ooh. Any more Porsches disappear, make it two towns over. And I want to taste. I don't know if he handled that very well. I, again, I have no clue what the hell was being said <laughs> at all during that entire conversation. I don't know what went on between you and Dad. Mom won't tell me anything. What? Oh, what you don't say? ask Nothing her. Why can't this family just get along? Some people don't want to. Uh, you, you, woman, you. It was your grandmother's, wasn't it? And so you won't forget me. Oh, sh. <laughs> She's doing the old woman act. I hate it so much. The heck? Stop. Fuck. Uh oh, he's doing it again. He's passing out again. He's gonna crash. Ooh. See, my mother and me, we had a falling out. Oh, I'm guessing he's seeing a different therapist. And, uh, I watch the news like everyone else. Uh huh. I know who you are. Yeah, okay. And I saw analyze this. I don't need the ramifications that could arise from treating someone like yourself. So you're saying goodbye? Analyze this. I'm not taking new patients right now. Wow. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to find a good therapist. A lot of changes since you've been here. With that mommy dearest around? Never again. Sure. <laughs> I can't blame him. Remember what she said to you at your wedding? She said it was a mistake. Tony would get bored with you. Oh, did she really say that? It's a horrible thing to say. Some family reunion. The woman who burned them all is barred from the premises. I don't think you should get too close, Janice. She tries to do the Tony. <laughs> I have no fantasies <laughs> about my mother. You know he's trying to sell the house? What house? Awesome. Tell? See, that's what I'm talking about. 180 grand is asking for that place. Like he needs that. Well, I'm glad someone's taking charge. Ma's not dead yet. There's no will. What? what is she? I mean, Ma's. Sounds... I feel like. Oh, okay. I think I know what's. This is why I'm like kind of bothered by her. I think I figured her out. I think she's there to like get as much money as she can from the mother. <gasps> what the fuck? She took down the sign. <gasps> Was it her who did that? Who sure ruined the house? She came here for the house and a $400 car. That was the con from the first. That's the level she works at. Maybe the sign was broken. Maybe it fell down. Nah, the way she was talking with the other sister, and plus me, I'm just getting a weird vibe from her. Yeah, no, I think she definitely, she definitely did that on purpose. If she were here, I'd be bouncing her fucking head against the wall. Ooh. Fucking bitch. Go ahead. Go have a beer. <laughs> go cool down. Eat a Snickers. God. Those were the days, man. Let me tell you something. Uh oh, what's going on with him? Is he okay? Oh gosh, he's going back to doing that weird, like almost passing out and like hyper focusing on something. You gonna drink or just sit there? Sit. What the fuck is the matter with you? What's the oh. matter? You, when everything is finally going good between us. Shut up about that. Why? They're still gonna kiss your ass. They don't care if you're a junkie. Oh, he did not just hit her. Sit down, sit down. Oh my god. Um. Oh, why would you grab her? One of my patients committed suicide because I wasn't available oh, really? to her. I drove off the road a couple days back. You look fine. Yeah, Biggs. Told me if I was driving somehow. That was a different time for us. Hmm. Maybe you can recommend somebody else. I oh. would never ask another colleague to get involved in this. <laughs> get out of my life. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I'd be terrified too after the stint he pulled. Alright, so that was the end of the episode. So they're just setting up some things here. Um, Tony's sister, mm -mm, Janice. I think I figured her out. There's definitely something suspicious going on with her. 
I do think she is just here to get some free stuff, free car, free house, maybe get some of that mother's money or something. I don't know. It was really funny what that one sister said though. She was like, don't get too close. See what she did to Tony? Yeah, like seriously, don't get too close. I mean, she is just so manipulative and she'll twist the narrative. So it's like, you can't really get close to her. And this is like with Meadow too. You can't really get close to her because otherwise she'll like construct this false narrative and get you like sucked into like her weird and twisted reality. I, it's no surprise that Tony turned out this way mental health wise because like just watching her on a TV show is stressing me out <laughs> so much. Somebody like that, I could not imagine having somebody like that in my life. She'd take like a good 20 years off my life and I'm already down like a 20 so I'm dying young. But with Janice, I have a feeling it's more so she wants to kiss butt to mama so that like if she ever does write her will or something that she gets all of the um the fortune from it. If like Olivia does end up spinning something it's not really gonna matter to somebody like Janice because she's just there to get as much money as she can. Tony's mental health now it's it's kind of like reverting it's going back to what it was in the beginning of season one where he's passing out while he's driving he's stressed out. I can imagine it's gonna be really hard to find a a new good therapist that was as good as Dr. Melfi will actually care and listen. Oh, Pussy's back. I guess that's that's good. They're, him and Tony are still a little weird. I don't know. They're exchanging weird looks, so that's kind of... I don't know what's going on there. So, okay, yeah, that was a pretty good episode, but I think that is going to be it for today's reaction. So, if you enjoyed, please leave a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. So, goodbye, and have a nice life. Mm -hmm.